about Let that. It press. Letterpress is more than just a contemporary trend that's back on the scene, and in fact, it defined much of modern printing history. What is it in a nutshell? Relief printing. As Hatch described it simply and best, letterpress printing is pressing paper onto wood, metal letters, and hand-carved images with ink in between. So, that's that, but not really. In an era where we ramble on and on about disruption, Johannes Gutenberg was one of our industry's key OG disruptors. In the mid-1400s, in the wake of handwritten manuscripts and woodblock printing, Gutenberg unveiled his movable type printing press. Arguably, a better invention than his previous attempts, such as a mirror that was believed to capture sacred light from religious relics. Gutenberg's invention revolutionized the Western world and democratized knowledge to common folk and served as an unparalleled means of spreading ideas. As Wendell Phillips said, what gunpowder did for war, the printing press has done for the mind. Letterpress dominated the next 500 years, and in fact, its deep saturation into our culture continues to this day in modern computer terms such as uppercase, lowercase, and expressions like minding your P's and Q's, all of which come from letterpress history. After a healthy reign, offset printing took over around the 1950s, and letterpress slowly faded into the cultural background. But, after the ease of photopolymer plates made letterpress more desirable again, it rumbled back onto the scene. Today, there's the amazing Hamilton Wood Type and Printing Museum, founded in 2000. Letterpress is taught in schools again, and more faux letterpress fonts exist than you can count. Letterpress, real or digital, is seemingly everywhere you look. But why now? Some believe the resurgence is due to Martha Stewart Weddings Magazine's embrace of letterpress invitations in the 1990s. But we'd like to think it's something more. Maybe it's because those raised on digital printing without letterpress are getting their first taste of it. Or maybe it's the result of living in a fully digital culture where the craft of the handmade simply means more now than it ever has. And yet, the more things stay the same, the more they change. Consider the kiss. The kiss was the art of the printer kissing the page to the type with such feathery grace that no impression was left on the page, the mark of the truly competent printer. Now, the kiss has evolved into a makeout session, and we crave the deeper impression more than ever before. Perhaps, maybe, because it is further affirmation that yes, this was indeed made by hand, machines be damned. This has been Design History in 150 Seconds.